David, you want to hear something interesting? Sure. So you know that markets are naturally deflationary? No, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Think of it this way, right? Like technology is a really great, really Mm -hmm. great area because we see it happen very, very starkly. When TVs first came out, how expensive were they? They were really expensive. A lot. Right? And not everybody could afford one. Now... It, you could be at the poverty level and you still got a TV and a cell phone. Yeah. When cell phones first came out, not everybody could afford a cell phone because they were so expensive. Now, everyone's freaking got a cell phone. And it's because over time, manufacturing of these things tends to become cheaper. And that happens across the board. As technology gets better, it also gets cheaper. So why is there inflation? Why... Okay. is the Fed's target 2% inflation per year. I mean, granted, we're even above that in the Fed's eyes and the Fed's standard, God forbid. But why is their target 2% inflation when markets are naturally deflationary? Why is that? That is a fundamental question. We all just assume that inflation is natural. We all just assume that there's a good manufacturing reason, Yeah, but that's not true. And so there's some really big fundamental questions about the way our system works that I think people really need to be asking. It's not just, oh, there's inflation, but it's why is it, why is there inflation? Why has the Fed not been able to bring inflation down? If they are the end all be all, why have they not been able to bring it down? Yeah. It tells you something in the works, something in the works. Yeah. Yeah. There is no way the reason why they would not act on behalf of the sort of what's right, you know, 